good morning all in this class we will learn frank content principle part 1 i have shown the diagrams to explain the frank content principle let us explain the frank content principle using these diagrams the frank content principle is represented as shown in the diagram here e not e0 e0 e e is the ground st ground electronic state e1 is the first excited electronic state in electronic state there are vibrational states there are vibrational levels for each electronic state there are vibrational levels as well as rotational levels also okay because the electronic energy is very much greater it includes during electronic transition it is accompanied by electronic transition is accompanied by vibrational transitions rotational transitions here we have not shown the rotational levels for simplification okay so these are the new double prime these are the vibrational quantum numbers for the ground electronic state new prime 0 1 2 3 4 these are the vibrational levels for the first excited electronic state this is vertical transition 0 to 2 you see 0 to 2 and 0 to 0 is non vertical transition this is absorb absorbance absorbance and this is emission after absorbance emission the absorb uh, the absorption of light gives absorption spectrum the emission of light gives emission spectrum or fluorescence spectrum this is uh, fluorescence emission okay here you look at the figure e1 the excited state is shallow the excited the mohr's curve is shallow whereas the curve e0 for ground state is deep this is the because this is more uh, stable the ground state is more stable so the potential energy is minimum here the potential energy is uh, not very minimum because it is unstable it is shallow okay so here the bond length this is the r not is the bond length in the ground state and similarly this is the equilibrium bond length for the excited state excited state the intensities of the intensities of vibrational electronic transitions are shown here okay and this is the vibrational electronic spectrum band spectrum is obtained the band spectrum obtained for vibrational electronic transition is shown here this is called vibrational electronic transitions are called progressions okay so the bands are crowded the lines are crowded when the vibrational quantum number is larger the bands are crowded see you see crowded because of unharmonicity because of unharmonicity the lines are crowded when the quantum number is when the quantum number is becoming larger and larger so frank quantum principle is useful for investigating the vibrational electronic transition or it is used for studying the vibrational structure of electronic spectra the potential energy curve mohr's curve for e0 and e1 are shown in the figure the e1 curve the potential energy mohr's curve for first excited state electronic curve is shallow because it is less stable and also the equilibrium bond length is greater than the greater than the ground state 
Now let us state what is Frank Compton principle. It states that the electronic transition when a light of photon falls on the molecule when a photon when a light of photon falls on a molecule an electronic transition takes place so fast that a vibrating molecule does not change its during the electronic transition that is during the electronic transition during the electronic transition there is no change in the atomic position of the vibrating molecule see the molecule is vibrating but the electronic transition is so fast that the vibrating molecule does not change its position during the transition therefore only vertical transition is most probable according to frank compton principle the vertical transition is highly probable okay the frank compton principle is based on von oppenheimer approximation it is based on von oppenheimer approximation what is von oppenheimer approximation according to quantum mechanics it is very simple it neglects the motion of atomic nuclei when describing the motion of electrons in a molecule because the you know the motion of electron is so fast the motion of electron is so fast than the nuclei because the mass of the atomic nucleus is very very great very much larger than the mass of an electron that is around 2000 times 1837 times greater than the mass of electron for example mass of proton is equal to 2000 times greater than mass of electron therefore the motion of electron is so fast therefore only uh, vertical transition is most probable during the electronic transition there is no change in the atomic positions of the vibrating molecule there are three cases depending on the bond equilibrium bond length r0 equal to res the bond length in the ground state is equal to the bond length in the excited state so for example here it will be we will see in the next part 2 with the little quantum mechanics aspects okay and next or this is the second case the equilibrium bond length in the excited state this is the equilibrium bond length in the excited state is greater than the bond length in the ground state next for example e o e2 e2 will be less deep and e3 will be less deep further it will very very shallow and also the equilibrium bond length for excited state is very much greater than the equilibrium bond length in the ground state so what is the significance of frank compton principle it explains the intensities of vibrational electronic transition it explains the intensities of vibrational structure in electronic spectra this is the diagram this is the plot of variation of intensity for example when a photon falls on the molecule when a photon falls on the molecule the most probable transition here is see the transition 0 to 2 because it is vertical transition according to frank compton principle the vertical transition is most probable because during this electronic transition there is no change in atomic position atomic position is not changed for example 0 to 0 is non vertical transition this is less probable 0 to 0 0 0 1 0 to 1 is also non vertical so when a photon falls on the molecule the most probable electronic transition is 
0 to 2 as it involves vertical transition. Although 0 to 1, 0 to 0, 0 to 2, 0 to 3, 0 to 4 all are equally allowed quantum mechanically according to quantum mechanics these are allowed but the according to frank quantum principle the most probable transition is 0 to 2 for this case ok there are three cases we will this is for case 2 transition to other vibration level 0 to 0 0 to 3 0 to 4 occur with the lower probabilities so their intensities are getting smaller and smaller therefore for case 2 the intensities the intensities increases and then diminishes with the increase in vibrational quantum number okay so this is 0 to 1 0 to 1 here you can also show 0 to 0 so here it will be line will be there okay thank you for watching we will continue the there are three cases we will explain in detail the intensities for three intensities of vibrational electronic electronic spectra for oh, for the other two cases as well as with the quantum mechanical aspects thank you for watching again